in the news we have heard a lot about like you know the fake identity when some researcher finds something some hacker breaks into something then you don't get to know his real name and that's what the like you know fake identity is all about in this episode we are going to learn very like you know various methods on how do we create a fake identity how do we maintain a fake identity especially while you are you are on the dark web like you know looking through the forums and etc and maintaining that sometimes becomes very challenging and and that's what i i want to teach you today uh like you know probably we'll also continue some other methods in the future as well we will also talk about like how do we encrypt our like even if let's say we are exchanging messaging using our fake identity but we still need to encrypt it to preserve the confidentiality so that's also we are going to learn about it uh so please stay tuned uh, hit the thumbs up button if you haven't already and let's get into it so even on the dark web let's say you you want to sign up for some service or you want to sign up in a forum you want to exchange uh, some information you want to buy something etc you need an email account now outside of the dark web uh, we use like you know gmail and yahoo right and and that that's our standard uh, way to use and sign up for any service but there are multiple disadvantages and the disadvantages are like okay let, let's let's actually go through the uh, one of the like you know gmail uh, so this is i'm um, obviously on the uh, tor network and i'm going to access a uh, gmail server and now suppose you do not have x like you know you don't have a account already perhaps it's going to ask you to sign up and during the sign up it's going to ask you for many information so if you click here on the create account and this goes same apply same for the yahoo and any other like hotmail any other ser uh, server email server you you think of so it's going to ask you like what's your name first name last name your email address password and then later on it will also ask you about your phone number and stuff like that so that way and, and you must be wondering why this is in a different language uh, because we are the tour and and like you know if you if you see our connection is we are yeah finland and germany and yeah that's why but anyway uh, this is why it's dutch language but even if you uh, check in the english it's going to ask you a lot of like you know personal information and that gives like you know that is like giving away a lot of information a lot of details to the to the email provider and that's not something we should be using uh, especially on the like you know dark web uh that's why we need to uh like you know make sure we 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 create the fake identity and then we use that for all the email server so now there are a couple of ways you can do that uh first way is there is a, a website called uh, this one uh, and the fake id uh, dot php uh and here you can see every time you go there you will get a new identity and here you will get all sort of details it's not just about the first name and last name right it's about like okay what's your address what's your phone number of course you can you should not be using this email address whatever email you get you can replace here but other than that you also get all this information as well so perhaps if you have to like you know sign up for some service where it requires a lot of information you don't need to like uh think about a lot of information you can just check this and and give that information and and this will be uh, a pro, uh like you know amazing there are also some premium services where you can they where they can also provide fake identity uh like but for if you are just uh like you know surfing dark web for learning and 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 like you know uh knowledge and some interesting uh, forums then i don't think so you need to pay for those fake fake uh like you know uh, for those premium services uh there is also of course like you know uh, this one you can access i think outside of uh, dark web like tor as well tor network but this one is specific to, this is an onion address so this will only be accessible from the uh, tor network and again i'm i'm going to link both of this address in the description below uh, but be aware as i told earlier this address is may change go up and down uh, quite frequently so the best way to find to this site is maybe take take name of the website or like you know just search on the the go or somewhere and that will be the easiest way you can search for it now there are also some other disadvantage uh using this google and yahoo service so uh, if you remember uh, when we we start talking about the dark web uh we talked about like when whenever you're hitting the server outside of like you know uh, your tor network which is not an onion site it's actually the connection is not encrypted 
uh, that means someone can obviously spoof and um, uh, do the man in the middle and, and read through all the information uh, so that's that's one of the disadvantage uh, second disadvantage is uh, Gmail and Yahoo and, and this kind of services they are logging and tracking every activity even if you are like while you are on their server suppose you are on the mail.google.com it's they are going to look into okay what are the information what are the keystrokes you are typing what, like where are you sending these emails etc so this information is still being tracked and logged so you, you are not getting complete anonymity and that actually defeats the purpose of being on the dark web so that's why it's not uh, i would say uh, like you know 100 percent a good uh, options or solution uh, for the fake identity however just to um, maximize or, or mi maximize the anonymity or minimize the risk what you should do is you should keep track of three things never use your fake identity on the clear net never use that email address and password that you created on for the like you know on the dark web never use that on the clear net second thing is never send or receive an email from any account that you own with the fake identity like your your personal account because then it's easier to get linked and then like you know uh, of course one can easily trace you so that's second thing uh, third thing is never use on the clear net never ever like you know log in on the clear net with your fake identity so so make sure uh, like you know you follow these three principles when you are using like services like gmail and yahoo and just creating with the fake identity accounts and then you should be fine however as i said like this is not a perfect solution and and for that to understand we need to uh, like you know we need to talk about what are the threats that we could have and, and the threats as we talked about one can do man in the middle track gmail and yahoo can still track your your activity and keystrokes so that's why we need another solution and the another solution is the temporary emails now there are plenty of temporary email services not just for the dark web but also if you if you just google it right now you will see quite a few of temporary email services and that provides some uh, i guess some advantage right uh, the other is it does not require any personal information because there is no sign up there is no setup so you can just sh like you know go ahead and it's quick and easy as soon as you go to their service you get an email address you use it and you send email receive email and that's about it they are very short lived so some accounts will say like you know they they are going they, they will let you use that email address for 1 hour but then they will delete everything so they are very very short lived uh, so it's not for the use if you are intend to use like you know for the long term or to uh, like you know sign up and then uh, you cannot regularly sign up and use that email account every time you want to use something you need to create a new uh, new uh, temporary email address it does not like there are a lot of options on the on the internet to use like you know which service you want however the features are limited uh, you will not see as many features as you will in the google and yahoo of course in in the temporary email address so that, that those are like you know some of the advantages i, I wanted to uh, just speak about whatever uh, like you know features and functionalities and limitation we have so you can make clear uh, judgment or decision whether you want to use the first option which we uh, we use the fake identity to sign up on the gmail or you want to use the temporary email we are also going to talk about some more services in the in the next episode but i just wanted to uh, give you that option now uh, let's okay let, let me show you a uh, quick examples i think that will make make it more clear so uh, this is like you know gorilla mail uh, service so here you can see and this one is uh, you can obviously access from the clear net it's not an onion address right uh, and here it says avoid spam and stay safe use a disposable email address and then uh, this will i think this expires in one one or couple hours but here yeah you can you can see your email you can see your inbox you can compose email there are some tools and about however the same thing is available on the onion web, uh, website again i'm gonna put this link in the description but this might go down by the time you guys see this video uh, but you can obviously search this anyway so here uh, you can change the name uh, whatever email you want uh, it will also give you a scramble address so it's hard for somebody to read and and make sense of it so that's even better and then what you can what we can do is just to test it out we can compose the email here 
let's just say test and the request body test and then let's hit the send button you can also kind of like you know uh, I think you can also go back attach files and stuff uh, but I would I would tell you how do we encrypt the file before we attach it and stuff like that because you do not uh, one thing I forgot to tell you is this email services are not very secure and of course you can understand like these are temporary email address it's not very well maintained somebody can easily break into it so do not send any sensitive data using these email addresses this purely use that like you know uh, for non sensitive information I wanted to uh, make that clear uh, so ideally uh, we send the email it should arrive uh, yeah it should it should arrive the emails sometime sooner but yeah it sometimes takes longer as well but that's that's how you can like you know send and receive the emails here you can see you cannot send the email using this onion website uh, hopefully they add that feature uh, in the future but right now and by the way do not refresh this if you refresh this your email address might change so that's why it's like you know there is there is a refresh here right now uh, and that's how you will you will receive your email there is also another one where it says fake mail dot net uh, this is also something and here it, there is a countdown on like you know how soon this uh, email is going to or my mailbox is going to delete it or or disposed so these are some of the options uh, make sure you read the privacy and and other information before you use any of this and and never use your real identity with any of uh, this like you know even the temporary email address as well so i think uh, these are uh, some of the good options and and some of the I guess viable options I want to talk about uh, I'm sure there are other options as well which we will talk about in the future uh, if you have any other like you know uh, solutions or uh, ways to create a fake identity on the dark web you have learned about it uh, please share with us uh, I would also like to learn about it if you have any other good uh, onion services uh, for either fake identity or temporary email address please share in the detail as well so uh, like you know everyone can use that uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment me as well. Uh, please hit the like button and I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye.